Let's take that variable. Let's make forum rules. I mean, I don't even know why. That's more like a code igniter thing that I keep calling them rules, but you don't really have to do that. And since we have validator, we'll just do validator, make, and we will request all, even though there's only one, really. And so we have a title, and it has to be required. And I'd say a min of <clears throat> a min of four because we want these to be the basis of the forum discussions and everything that's going on. And again, you'll see what I mean when when, when we really get into it. Well, max of two fifty five. Okay. Just in case somebody wants to write a book. Now, again, under normal circumstances, you wouldn't actually do it like that. You would you would have the administrators make the titles of the forms and everything, you wouldn't just let random people do it, but we're, we're not really going to get into that right now. I, I wanted to do this quick. Again, we'll do, maybe I'll, I'll go back and do a little bit more of a polished site with Laravel, like a polished form. We're going to do a few things with Laravel, but maybe I'll do a little bit more of a polished version of this. So with that, we go if... And let me just double check myself. Should have this open before I start, but let's go back to this. So, if it fails, then we'll just go title or equals, <clears throat> excuse me, actually wait, sorry I haven't done this one in a while, form rules errors, errors and we just want the first one, and then we echo, whoops, before I else it out, let's echo, otherwise, and for fun, we'll just do this. You don't really need to. Maybe it'll figure itself out, but just in case. <clears throat> Else, we are going to... I don't really think we need to do anything other than we'll just go new forum equals forum create. And we'll just go request post, title, actually, no way, we need to make a, an array. Yeah, let's not do it like that. Let's do the old fashioned way. Because, enter form, because we have to put the user ID. Again, I, you really, I really shouldn't have done that when I think about it. I really shouldn't have put the user ID in there because there's no point to it, but with the way we're building it, but whatever. So title, request, post, title, and then user ID is, of course, the authenticated user, user ID. Then we'll just do this. And then we're going to echo no error tilde and we'll send the new form ID. And that's it. That's all we're going to have to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nah. There we go. That's all saved. So let's take a look. So you hear it says create form. Now, Ordinarily, what I would do is I would have it pop up here. Well, we're going to do that later. We're going to have it pop up here like we've done before. But with this, we're just going to do this. Title. Boop, boop, boop. Now, I didn't have to change anything because title is basically what I want the attribute to be. If you do want to change the attribute, then, you know, go to validation in the language area. And you can just change it here in the attributes. But I'm going to keep it the way it is. And now we'll just go, we'll say general discussion. 
And then we didn't make it yet, so we'll have to do that now. But you can see we did it. And if we look here and we go to browse, there it is. General discussion, user ID, create, create, blah, blah, blah. So we have now a general discussion. We have now a basis for which we're going to have more forms. We're going to have actual forms listed and everything. And this is when the relationships with the users really take shape. And now we're going to get forum and we're going to put the form in there, the form object. Forums controller. You can't control me. And we'll go, we'll call this one view. And we'll make this view. Oh, actually, no, I don't need that. Yeah, I don't need that. That's if I was calling it something else. So, so that's the view functionality, which would automatically be inserted It would automatically be inserted if you had the, the terminal created for you. But I don't like having that create on its own. So basically all we have to do is we just have to return a view of forums.view. And we just got to send the forum with the form object. That's all we have to do. However, there will be something within this that we need to provide the user an opportunity to, to create their own subject of conversation. So where are my views? My views are here. Click your file, we'll view.blade.php, PHP. And we'll do our usual extend, extend layout. section title and we'll just echo out this as the title and then section content and then end section now if i hit refresh general discussion one there's your header blah blah blah, blah, blah. say fantastic with the actual construction though, let's do something. Let's go, we'll do our usual thing. We'll do view, wrapper, wrapper. Now, if you look at most other forms, like if you look at Reddit, Reddit or something like that, or like the EA form or what have you, typically there'll be, there'll be some kind of sidebars and you can make a partial where you can introduce it or in, in, inject it into the layout, inject into the layout and just have a sidebar of people that are logged in, a sidebar of the, the more recent ones. Again, we'll do that another time. Right now, I just want to kind of give you an introduction, get through it, and then, you know, we'll do another one. Again, I think that later on, when I've really mastered Laravel 9 and all of its upgrades, I think we'll do a better forum. This one's a little bit easier, but later on, we'll do a better one. This one, you know, it, it's, look, it's going to be a forum. You, you're going to, you'll see. So we'll do in main heading. Well, like I said, I, I was really looking to make something deep for you guys with something else, but things kind of happened and it just sort of got in the way, life got in the way. And thusly with that, I kind of ran out of time. I wanted to present something for you guys. So it just didn't happen. So we'll go view interior. We'll do pretty much like we did with the other one. And then we'll do another one. We'll say off and we'll go, you're not gonna let me do this, right? View, well, I'll just call view link. Yeah, you will, okay. S link, cause I, I like the way the S link, the small link works. You motherfucker, you serious? That's better. And it will be G 
JavaScript. By the way, the reason why I'm doing this so early is because I got another project going on. Somebody mentioned editing this, and I would like to, but I've just got so much happening, I don't really have time. Soon it's going to be, I'll, I'll just go through this without any issues at all, any other than typos or whatever, which happened to everybody. Create, oh no, let's say start discussion. Start discussion. And we also want to put in an on-click event, which will be show discussion. only if you're logged in everybody will see this do I need to? yeah I guess I'll put a few list so form right we already know about relationships but again discussions are a little different because they're kind of lists on their own we don't really need to go too nuts with this because we're just going to basically if you have a, a has many relationship, pretty much it's an array or a list. So you can't just post it like you could if you had a, a like we did with the profile or with, with the info where we could just do one. You know, we'll just say user info and then we'll go from there. The extension has to be almost like it's an array. So the first thing we can do is we can just go if. And the if will be if forum discussion. And we could do a, a count it is less than one. And we'll just print out. No, I'll just do this. We're going to reroute again. The only place that's going to actually show a real time updated list will be when we go into the discussion and we'll see the replies. No, nah, we'll say discussions. Otherwise, we're going to make a for each. And the for each will be forum discussion as, we'll just say FD. And with each one, we will make another div or paragraph. And we'll do a div. We will do a div. Let's go view discussions. Then basically it'll just be the, the the title and the link. Now what did I call it? Well, what we, we kind of want to sort of shorten it. Body, that's what it was. We kind of want to shorten it because I think this is a text, right? Yeah, we don't want the whole thing showing up. So what was the, I know I did it once. There was, there's a way that you can shorten it. Let me just double check. Where did I put that? That's on one of the views. But there's a way that you, Laravel gives you a way to shorten it. And I want to just take a look. I'm pretty sure I put it on here. Was it here or? Let me see. Well, I'll look at it later. As of now, we'll, we'll, we don't have anything anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But we'll just go pretty much like we did with the, the form list. We'll just go a main link, and the href will be forum, and we'll do the, the fd id, and we'll do the FD, no, wait, no, I got that wrong. FD ID, this would be FD form ID, and this would be the FD ID. Remember, we're getting a discussion ID. We're going into the discussions, so we have to get the form ID first, so we know which form it is, and then we have to get the ID of the discussion itself. And we'll just do it that way, and you don't have to do it that way. You could separate it a little bit cleaner than that but we'll just do it like that and then we'll say we'll post that fd body i think i called it that right yeah 
But like I said, we'll, we'll shorten it. And within that, we'll also do a another div. I'll say view date. And we'll just go like this. Div. Yeah, we'll do a span actually. Span. And we'll just go. Say posted on. And we'll do the date format. M. M D Y G I A string to time. Boop boop. Alright. No 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 no. I need that. But I don't think I need. No, I do need that. Yeah, that's fine. I don't, do I need, I don't think I need this. I think we'll be all right. If it gives me an error message, then we'll need it. Because this is echoing it out anyway. Create that, and if you want to go further, hey, listen. You can go further. You can say, buy, and then you can spin it out again. And call it class equals view user because don't forget this relates to users as well and you, you can say fd oops sorry fd user info username because it'll link the the created discussion to the user so you just got to go user, and then from the user, you can then relate it to the info and then the username. Relations, they're fantastic. That'll just be what we post, what gets posted on the list. And then, of course, we'll keep it in the wrapper, but we'll keep it outside the interior. Do what we did last time. View discussion area on because we got a view discussion there, and I keep making that mistake. And we'll just say view discuss will be the ID. And like last time, we'll do a, well, it'll be a text area. So I have to go, did, what did I call it again? Form. I know I, I did one for the text areas. So form text area, obviously. Form text area. And we'll put in our text area, which will be text area, main, did I say main text area? Let me see. Main text area. So I don't need any of this stuff. I don't need this. But I do need an ID, and we'll call that uh, yeah, view body will be the ID here. Placeholder will be start discussion. And of course, we'll have our, our error area. And we'll say, whoops, say view error. Like that. Following that will be the button. View button. Uh, button will be of the primary button brand. And we'll have the on click event of. No, I don't need it. New discussion. I was just thinking if I needed to, to send an ID in here, but I don't because we're going to be basing every. We're going to be basing the user ID on the authenticated user. We're going to be basing the form ID on the form that's been passed. So we're good. We are good. And we'll say create. Create a button. Let's see. So as you can see, we have no fucking discussions. We have a nice little thing here. We have a little button there. We're ready to go. 
And what time are we at? 20. Okay. 20 minutes. Mostly from styling. And we're not done with the styling yet. Let's style now. I love, you see, when you, when you make a really strong main styling page, you have nothing left here to style. It's, it's, in fact, we could just keep putting commas and just make pretty much, everything's going to be pretty much the same. So it's, there's really no, no reason to keep making different sections for the different pages because they're all going to be pretty much the same. Let me just get the, the actual names of things. The view wrapper is fine. View interior. Well, really, let's do the, excuse me, let's do the, the view link, pardon me. Had breakfast not too long ago. View interior. We'll do the same thing. Height of 550. I could have made these like base styles. Five picks. Overflow auto. And then probably should have kept the same naming conventions. Forum spot. All right. That's what we're going with. Form spot. No, wait, this is view spot. What am I doing? View. View discussion area, that's right. Margin top, five pixels. Padding, five pixels. I might want to actually shrink. Let me get rid of this for a sec. I might actually want to shrink the, the interior because this is a, eh, we're good. We're good. I don't know what the visibility hidden. So as it stands, it's not there. Now, let's go to our JavaScript. And we'll go over here. And you could also do a uh, view page function. Do something like that. So, what did I call this? Show discussion. Now, we will go. I just did view discuss. So, view discuss equals. Document, get, element by ID, view, discuss, if view, discuss, dot, style, dot, visibility equals visible, not show, visible, then we shall change that to view, discuss, style, visibility to hidden, Else, and the reason why I do this is so that when you're looking at, you don't have to, even though that little link is in your face, you don't have to see the create form on the bottom. Oh, I didn't put a form in there. Visible. I gotta put a form in there first. Bing, bang, bing, boom. There you go. That's why I do it, so that when you go in here, you look, oh yeah, the discussions when they're listed, and then you go like that. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll create a new one. I'll, I'll just, I won't. No, I will. No, I won't. You know, if, you're, if you have a hard time really making a decision. Got to remember I have to put a form in. Name equals view, uh, uh, view form. And we don't need anything type. I'm just double checking myself. Got the name, got the method. Oh, and the on submit event dot prevent defaults. And then we put the CSRF. And we will let's see. We'll close this out. Now we're ready to go. Now we are ready. Let's see, 24 minutes. We'll stop here. I got to get going somewhere soon. So when I return, I guess we can get it set up a bit. All 
I'll set up the, the function itself, and when I return, we'll new discuss. Sure. When I return, we'll put it all together. So I will see you in just a second.